गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड सेव एट होम ओके सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर टेन प्रोनाउंस सेकेंड नाउ इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी कंप्लीटेड प्रोनाउंस फर्स्ट सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज प्रोनाउंस सेकेंड ना सी रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउंस Read these sentences. The girl saw herself in the mirror. I wash myself when I get up. The horse has hurt itself. You will hurt yourself. Now, see, whom did the girl see? Now, in this sentence. It is asking that whom did the girl see? Girl ne kisko dekha? Herself means khud ko. Ek ladki ne khud ko shishe me dekha. Okay. Now in the second sentence, I wash myself when I get up. Whom do I wash when I get up? Myself. The horse has hurt itself. Now the question is, who has the horse hurt itself? You will hurt yourself. Whom will you hurt yourself? Okay. So here, herself, myself, itself, yourself are reflexive pronouns. Now why these are called reflexive pronouns? See, we see that. In each case, the doer of the action is also the receiver of the action. Doer means the person that does something. Okay, or the action done by the person is the receiver, that person only. So, the doer of the action is also the receiver of the action. means the action is also received by the same person okay or in other words the object denotes the same person or thing as the subject means the object okay so object denotes the same person or thing as the subject means the action done by the person is also the receiver of the object now see definition the pronouns myself ourselves yourselves sorry yourself yourselves himself herself itself themselves when used as the object of a verb okay when these are used as the object of a verb or preposition are called reflexive pronouns so when these words are used as the object of a verb or preposition are called reflexive pronouns so or you can say that in reflexive pronouns we use self or selves okay Now see, interrogative pronouns. Now see, reflexive pronouns singular, plural. Myself singular and plural of myself is ourselves, yourself, yourselves, himself, herself, itself, themselves. Okay, so himself, herself, itself is singular, and the plural of these three. are themselves is themselves okay so when we use self or selves it is reflexive pronouns now see interrogative pronouns interrogative means questions okay used for asking questions see who whom and whose are used for persons only which is used for people animals and things what is used for things only now read the following sentences who is that boy 
so as i said that who is used for persons so who is that boy whom did you meet which of the two is yours whom did you see i saw raja whose are those books what did you say which of these girls is your sister which of these books do you want so interrogative pronouns means asking questions an interrogative pronoun is not followed by a noun okay so definition see the definition words like who whom whose where which what that are used to ask questions so these words are always used to ask questions are called interrogative pronouns okay now see relative pronouns now relative pronouns words like what is relative pronouns okay kisi noun ya pronoun ke bare mein कुछ जोड़ने के लिए रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन का प्रयोग करते हैं ना सी वर्ड्स लाइक हु हुम हुज वेयर विच दैट प्ले द रोल ऑफ अ रेफरिंग एलिमेंट आर कॉल्ड रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस मींस जो भूमिका निभाए ओके फॉर दैट वी यूज रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस See, read the following sentences. This is the boy who won the race. Now, who is used for boy? Means, ये वो ही लड़का है जिसने रेस जीता था. Okay, this is the boy who won the race. This is the girl who tops in the class. ये वही लड़की है जिसने क्लास में टॉप की थी. या टॉप किया. These are the people. These are the people who wish to see you. Now here, he, who is used for the people? This is the boy whom I know. इस लड़के को मैं जानता हूँ. So whom is used for this boy? This is the place where we met. These are the people whom we visited this is the car which cost a fortune this is the lady whose daughter is sick these are the people whose children study here okay so who 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 whom where which whose are called relative pronouns okay Now see, which is used for things and not for people. Which हम things के लिए use करते हैं, people के लिए नहीं. Okay? The relative pronoun which is used also for animals. Now which used for animals? See, thus the dog which he recently bought is an Alsatian. Relative pronouns who, whom, and whose are used for people only. So relative pronouns like who, whom, whose are used for people only. Thus, this is the boy who won the race. Now who here is used for boy? That is for people. This is the girl whom they saw. Whom? This is the lady whose daughter is here. Whose? Okay. Now see. Study the study how the following pairs of sentences are joined together by the means of a relative pronoun. Now you have to join these sentences. Okay, by using relative pronoun. Note demonstrative. Interrogative, indefinite pronouns when placed before a noun act as an adjective. Now, as I told you in the previous lecture also, that 
when demonstrative interrogative and indefinite pronouns comes before noun agar ye noun ke pehle aaye to wo kya ho jayega adjective ho jayega okay now see join the sentences by using relative pronoun his uncle was ill he is dead now his uncle comma who was ill comma is dead my father will never trust you you have cheated me my father whom you have cheated will never trust you now here we are using relative pronoun and join the sentences govin's father is ill govin feels anxious govin whose father is ill feels anxious nariman gave you a pen does it work well does the pen which nariman gave you work well so here the relative the words like who whom whose which are used to join the sentences and it is called relative pronouns okay so you have to do this exercise in your copy okay in the same way you have to do this also join together each of the following pairs of the sentences using a relative pronoun